Uh, hey guys, um, I explained this a little bit in one of my other tutorials, but um, for the people who haven't watched that, it's quite a handy thing. People uh, nowadays think that you can't really automate things through your um, your song from external VSTs. Um, for instance, I'll just give you an example if you don't know what I'm talking about. You've got um, your fine tune here, you want to, um, or your, your cutoff, you want to automate that. You do that, right? You've got an auto. You've got a handy automation clip you can play with there. You can't do that with massive or whatever. It's really annoying. Um, you can. Um, what you do is there's an option in tools called Last Tweaked, which means say um, I've got like a scream filter on something here, right? I want to be able to control my cutoff without having to like record it or anything, just from my my song, and I've got my um, my my melody, my uh, melody there. It's not much of a melody at the moment, is it? Um, and so I want to be able to control this from the song, um, but I can't because it won't let me. What you do is just one click or one touch will save it to the last tweaked. As you can see here, massive filter one cut. It's picking up that you touch that. Create automate clip. So that's just the way of creating automate clips for external VSTs. Simple, R really really simple. So then I can you know. You know, you can you can do those real cool effects with them without having to record or domain. And so you, you can do it with anything. For instance, if I wanted to do it with Scream, I can do it with Scream. It just anything works. It's really handy. Um, so I thought I'd just share that with you. So yeah, uh, things you can do with Automain, really, really handy. Um, I'll just show you a couple of cool things now. Um, you can do LFOs. Um, you can, it's just shitloads you can do basically. Um, da -da -da -da. See, um, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, hope, hope you found that helpful. Uh, just just a quick um, helper for you.